Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk about the Chrome Store Browser. It is yet another fishy Chromium-based web browser that appears out of nowhere and tries to make you use it on a continuous basis. Let me break it into pieces and explain what's wrong with it and why you should abandon use it and having it on your PC as soon as possible. The first concerning thing about Chrome Store is its credentials. Well, as I said, it is made on the Chromium Core, an open source version of the core used in Chrome, Opera, and Dash browsers. Though, despite having an official website that promises the most stable and secure browser you've ever seen, the page is missing one important part references and links to the open source code used in the development. Chromium engine is spread under BSD3 license, which mandates putting the reference to the used open source code in the final product documentation. Though neither links on the website nor the documentation where they can potentially be are available, that is the first and probably the least sensible problem. Another issue arises immediately from the first one. Since the source code is not available, you cannot have a pick in it, and since the browser carries a basic certificate, there is no real way to be sure that the code it contains is not malicious. It can collect your personal information, data about your activities, downloads, or even act as a spyware by grabbing any password you type. And once again, you cannot control what happens under the hood. That's the yet another danger of the Chromster browser. Third thing actually brings Chromster to the zone of grayware. Programs that use shady spreading approaches are not liked by both users and security experts. While you can download it on the aforementioned official website, it is not a way you will likely get it on your device. Grumpster instead prefers getting into your system as a bundled program or under the guise of a groundbreaking browser that will change your web experience forever. The latter is what an advertisement from a strange site says. Both of these are less than likable if you are trying to judge progress by the way they are spread and propagated. Sure enough, it may be hard to get an audience on the market where Google Chrome has held a monopoly for more than the last decade, but in getting in the same cut with malware is not a great option either. One more thing, a cherry topping on the cake of John one may say, is its functionality. Remember what it said on the advertisement. Secure browser with groundbreaking browser features and lightweight interface, yes? Not in this case. What is actually in Chrome Store is the most basic functionality you could find in any browser since mid-10. Well, on Wix systems, this browser may run slightly faster than a regular Chrome or whatever popular browser you can pick. But at what cost? Chromster effectively lacks every single security feature that you can find even in the stripped-down builds of Chrome. Secure password storage? Nope. The ability to use Windows authentication methods for ultrafill confirmation? Nope. Notifications regarding unprotected connections? Clear miss here. Checks of downloaded files. In your dreams. Using it effectively equals juggling jewelry in front of a crowd of pickpockets. We all know the end. Considering all I've just said, I'd recommend you to get rid of the crumb store as soon as possible. Fortunately, it does not hide that deep in your system that thus you can simply find it in the list of installed apps and click delete. However, as I said, the spreading ways used by this browser are also liked by different malware. To ensure that your system is not infected with more secretive and more dangerous malware, consider running a scan with within soft and time malware. Using a standard scan is enough to find basic stuff, but I'd recommend launching a full scan this time to give possible intruders their chances. It may take 7 to 10 minutes, so be patient. As you can see, it has already detected something from the start. When it is over, you will have both Chromster and all other things ready to be deleted. As you can see, it is now over, and by clicking Clean Now, you can initiate its removal. It may take some time as well, especially when there are a lot of detections. Now, the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.